RCSI has some unique particular strengths. Our small size allows us to foster a real dynamic can-do attitude. And this means that we've got great opportunity for collaboration that doesn't exist to the same extent as in other universities. Over the past five years, we've seen an incredible growth of research in RCSI. We've begun to focus and streamline our research in areas of core strength. So as I move into this job as Director of Research and Innovation, I think there's a real opportunity to consolidate some of this research activity, to grow our PI base, and what we want to see now is to see ever-increasing focus on clinical research to better engage our basic scientists with our clinical colleagues in our hospital bases, and to see more prestigious funding awards such as European Research Council grants come into the college as we move forward. Something else that I think we'll be looking at is to increase patient and public involvement in research, to have a more involved clinical patient base who helps to inform some of the research we carry out. And I think we have a real opportunity for growth in this space, and I think it's a really exciting area. But uniquely in RCSI, of course, we've got overseas campuses, and I really would like to see us expand the amount of research that's happening on our overseas campuses and to increase the engagement between the Dublin campus and our international campuses as well, too. If I look at what success is, it'll see RCSI become one of the leading universities in the world, and research and success in research is absolutely key to that, and we will see an increase in research funding into the institution. That will allow us to increase the number of PhD students we produce, to increase the number of trainees, postdoctoral trainees who move elsewhere and into industry or become PIs. And also we would love to see increased numbers of spin-out companies coming out of RCSI. More patents, more intellectual property and better engagement with industry.